Hi guys. Hey, we just finished up for the day. Um, so we had finished um, making up our shelf for our vanity cabinet yesterday, and uh, we got up here and just hung it on the wall and just set the top, uh, the countertop, just sitting there. And um, that's what that looks like. Just a wall hung. And then it's going to have two doors on this side that swing open and probably three drawers and two doors. So two doors, three drawers, two doors. No idea we could uh, get our plumbing in the open door bays. Yeah, we provide an outlet there. That's a 20 amp. GFI for the blow dryer, which we can uh, keep in the top drawer. And then um, everything's um, ready to be, um, we just gotta mount the mounting screws. There's, they have mounting tabs on the countertop where you can get up through. We put a top on the, on the top. Typically there's not a top, it's just like an open frame. Uh, sometimes it's a balloon frame, the backs are open too, but we had a couple of extra sheets at three quarters that uh, we used a sheet and a half to put that get that together <clears throat> so we put a top on it and it just gives a little bit more strength because it's hanging off the wall so the box uh, helps helps the strength these two dividers are so we can mount uh, uh, draw tracks full extension draw tracks on that and also mount the other the inside door will mount on that too. So in that game it's strength, but that's just hung up in the hung up in the air so the heat can come up underneath. And then what we're gonna do is get some Paduke. We're gonna use um, you see we stepped it back in three quarters here because we have a three quarter inch base frame or extension frame. There's probably there is no really a face frame. There's just gonna be a top uh, style on the top. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, laminate on a, a face, but we're going to veneer and mitre to a veneer. We left a little bit of a space there. We're going to make our own veneer with the Paduke, and then we'll veneer it on. Um, so it's all wood, solid wood, and a, and a plywood frame. And that's pretty much it. Hook up the drains and hook up the hot and cold water. And we... We have the uh, faucet fixtures right here. These are these are axles. Sounds growy. They call it a star rack or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is. I could show you what they look like. Let me see. We'll be doing that after we, after we get the drains hooked up. Anyways, that's the style of the fixture right there. It's got like a carburetor. For the hot and cold, and then comes with the at the yes, the tailpipe. And that's it. We'll come in here after, and we'll put a cock joint along that grout line. That's what we had set it so the the top of the uh, cock joint covers the grout line. That's our, that's our wall hung vanity cabinet. And I don't know, they get some good money for these things. You know, if we had wanted to purchase it, we could have, but we would have had to order it maybe five weeks ago, but uh, we figured we'd make it anyways. Because we wanted that specific Paduke wood. That's one of the reasons why. And I don't know, we, we had a couple of, sheets left over from when we were doing the plywood backing for all the teeth, so we, we used it there. We'll get in there and put some good coats of urethane on the inside um, so it's water resistant anyways. But anyways, we, had to, uh, we, had to, we couldn't get it through that opening and we're not ready, quite ready to take the other bathroom apart. So we came in here and we just cut, a, um, cut an opening and slid it through the opening and then we just put the drywall put it back together and then when we're ready we can cut this out and then you see we had a, 
this door is going to be a temporary door here and then we'll use that until we get our finished Purdue doors made because we got to make the frames too so the only really major thing left for that bathroom is this and that's the tub and that's that can only go in once the door is in this temporary door so we could we can get that tub in there and get that all hooked up too and then the only thing left after that is the fixture the tub spout all right guys that's it i'll um i'll keep you posted as we go but that's all we got for this one so have a good weekend you guys take it easy